see all of you. Welcome to my home. So, you know, I'm just going to give you the fastest, easiest way to create wealth and build a business. It's, it's a simple communication. This is true for every single business owner. And, and it's important to understand how to go from zero to earning the kind of money and, set, and, and the opportunity to earn the kind of money that you want to make in your life, doing whatever you choose to do. And so I call these the four P's and the four M's. And what I love about, uh, how many of you are, are currently with the EXP that are here? How many are not? So let me, let me just do a plug for why I love uh, EXP. Um, most business owners get trapped in an economic structure that allows them to trade time for money. And those are what I call high transactional businesses. And so the more you do, the more you make, but you have to do more to make more. Um, and what I love about the EXP model, which is a unique model, is it's a multi-economic model. So it's a MIM. And anytime you can find a MIM, you can create significant wealth faster. And what I mean by a multi-economic model is that you can get paid multiple ways for exerting the same amount of energy. And this is not true for a lot of businesses. A lot of businesses have to run an ad, they have to sell something, and then at some point in the future, they might get second money with the relationship. Inside of any kind of a MIM structure, a multi-economic model, you just need to be, become uh, remarkable at different facets of the business and you can win multiple ways. So uh, how do you build a business that creates significant value, that has residual income, that has passive income, both active and passive income? Simultaneously, you need a MIM, a multi-economic model. And <clears throat> what I love about the ability to recruit people, see, you can lean into your strengths in a MIM. In, in a transactional business, it's very hard to lean into your strengths because you have to be good at the transactional side. So if you're not in a business where you can go out and recruit thousands and thousands of people, teach them the P's and the M's, then you have no leverage in your business. So anytime you can build a business where thousands of people can get involved and the mechanics of the business allow it to be a MIM, multi-economic model, then you can get really super big, really super fast. And you don't actually have to be an expert in, quote, the thing you do. You can be an expert in the other things that support the thing that gets done. And that's what a MIM allows a person to do. And then it creates a, an economic stream that can last forever or be transferred or sold to someone. So there's an old saying, and when I launched my business in 2004, I wanted to launch into the traditional business sector a MIM model. And where I learned that MIM model from was one of my mentors and best friends uh, was one of the top people inside of Primerica Financial Services. And so I took the Primerica Financial Services MIM model, multi-economic model, and I applied it to traditional business. So employees that went to work for business owners that I worked with could be involved with the MIM strategy versus trading their paycheck for their time. And that allowed us in a traditional business to create explosive wealth for everybody in the network. Now, to you, why is this important? Well, if you're trapped in a system that doesn't give you a MIM opportunity, then you could spend the next 10 or 20 or 30 years trading time for money, becoming an expert, being well known, doing lots of transactions, but at the end of that rainbow, you're still stuck. What is next? Versus during that same period of time, you have multiple streams of income that are built and centered around your activities that you've been doing for the past 20 or 30 years. So the whole art in building any business, when you look at the P's and the M's, I'm going to give these to you. The first P is promote. I was listening to Michael and he was talking about promoting your listings, promoting within your network. 
People get confused what promote, the first P stands for. Promoting is promoting what you do, it's promoting why you do it, it's promoting who you do it with, it's promoting the impact of what you do, it's promoting to people to come join you and wanna do it with you. It's promoting the opportunity to those people, how they can succeed by you making their success easy through the M's. And, and promoting is promoting within the community the opportunity to create a life through the business you choose. It's promoting the opportunity if somebody follows you and trusts you that you can show them how to create passive income and active income. It's the ability to continually and forever and constantly multiply your promote. Promote is not running an app. It's not doing a video. That is a component of promote, but it is a single promote component. You want to have a lifestyle component of promoting, which means in all you do with everyone you're doing it, every moment you have, you're promoting. And when Michael's talking about using video, the easiest form of multiplying your promote is video format because you can shoot one video and it, will, it can be pushed to tens of thousands, if not millions of people, whereas you're never going to do that in a one-on-one -on -one exchange. <coughs> so the first P is promote. And promote isn't running an ad and it isn't a nice landing page. Promote is your being. Now, in a MEM, multi-economic model, you also get to promote that anybody who joins you can also create an active and passive income in a MEM model. Whereas in a traditional model, you can get an override and you can promote people to come work with you and then get an override, but then what's next for them? Because I can promise you, I've spent my career working with top performers across hundreds and hundreds of industries. And eventually a top performer will burn out and move on to another location to find a better opportunity if they do not have the vision in front of them where they're at. That is the single biggest trap for business owners of any kind of business is creating and developing a top performer who then feels they tapped out and then needs to move on because they don't have that discussion with people they work with, they just move on emotionally and there's no getting people back once they made the decision to move on. So if you're in a business system where it's a one-to-one -one ratio, you recruit somebody, you teach them what to do and they go out and generate money and you get an override and that's where it stops, you're already trapped because those people will eventually leave you. How many of you all work for somebody else before you start working where you're at? Because there was no men. Multi-economic model. It's actually a multi-economic monetization model. When you have a multi-economic monetization model, you can keep people forever. And so I really want you to be thinking about trading time for money, but converting active income to passive income and multiplying it through some kind of MIM model. First P is promote. When you have an asset that allows you to promote forever, promote success within the MIM model that you're involved in, promoting the ability to forever create passive income through the economic model, you have something to keep people for life. Because when you get into the M's from the P's, you just have to master that to get massive. Promote, next one is profit. You have to have profit centers. You have to know the second P is profit. You've got to know how to make money. Now, you would say, well, of course, any business owner, but let me give you the national statistics. 31 and a half small to mid-sized, 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses in the United States. 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses in the United States. 25 million of those 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses have a single employee. So obviously that ain't working with a MIM model. And that employee is only gonna make it, the owner, three to five years, statistically. 5.3 million businesses have between two and 12 employees. And only 600,000, less than 1.8% of all SMBs in the United States, 1.8% have greater than 12 employees. So you can see of the 31 and a half million businesses in the United States that if you're not in a MEM model, you're screwed. The top three complaints for why all those businesses fail cyclically every five years is no demand for my product or service. Can't find any good people to help me. And can't get financing. 
That's because they never learn how to make money. Who is going to finance somebody that can't show demand for their own product or service? So when you look at the 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses in the United States, the number one challenge is to have something that can transact for value and create profit. Having a MIM model allows you to do that across a broader spectrum of people versus you trading time, energy, and effort for money and trap as one of those 25 million people. The third P is process. How do I promote in all the areas I promote? How do I monetize? How do I make money? Monetization is the ability to make money off of what you're doing. How do I make money? And then the third is the process that here's how I promote. Here's how I make money. What Mike was teaching you is a process. Hey, it's Brandon Dawson here at Dawson Ridge. How many of you would love to show the most expensive, the un most unbelievable home in Southwest Washington, the elite home for only special people who actually have the fortitude and wherewithal to pay to live in the greatest place in the Pacific Northwest with the ex most exclusivity. When you're buying this house, you're not buying a home, you're buying exclusivity. You're buying unique, you're buying custom, you're buying special, you're buying a one of a kind place anywhere in the Pacific Northwest that allows you to tower over the world from the coastal ranges to the mountains and never have to look at a neighbor, ever. If you like to host massive parties with important people, fancy events, this is the only home in Southwest Washington, but it's for serious buyers who have a serious appetite to be viewed as serious people. Click here, swipe there. That's how I market, because I don't want anybody and everybody. I want only the elite. I price this house so far over the price spectrum, not because I'm looking for a buyer, I don't want to find a buyer. I want to find somebody who appreciates. I want a connoisseur. I want somebody who appreciates what this home can do for them. I want somebody who wants to be able to have 10 acres in the city on the ridge that has a family and they want to raise their family for the next 10 or 15 years in a tax-free, potentially, if it stays that way, <laughs> state in a beautiful area of the world that for six months out of the years, uh, year is outstanding. This is the most exclusive property in Southwest Washington and on the Portland side until you get down to Lake Oswego. You want to live an hour away. This property will never, ever, ever, ever be built again. Nobody can pay the three or four thousand a square foot it would cost to build this house with the materials that are inside this house. This house between the original builder, when they tore the stucco down, put all this old world brick up, and before I gutted it and spent four and a half million dollars inside of it, this house has almost $15 million in it. And that does not include the land. So this house is for somebody who wants to buy a $20 million house for somewhere around 10 to 12 million if they hit the number right. That's what this house is for. This is who this house is for. This house has a legacy. 38 years ago, for a year, people sat on their hands and knees and cut those two by fours and placed them on the floor and hand sanded them. You will not find those floors anywhere. Now, does that matter to most? No. Because here's the thing. Price is only an issue in the absence of value. So to the extent that you don't promote the value, buyers won't appreciate it. And really all you need to do is promote to the sensitivity of the homeowner. See, if you come in here and see this house and you tell me, yeah, this house is nice, it's beautiful, it's overbuilt. It's stunning. Nothing's traded in Southwest Washington for more than six to nine million. Now I have friends that spent 20 million building houses down the river. They just aren't interested in selling it yet. And if you start telling me everything that's wrong with the price of the house, I'm gonna say, I, I agree. I 100% agree. It's way overpriced, way overpriced. But see, I don't have to sell anything. So if the right buyer comes along and appreciates it as much as I do, in the, the 11 remarkable years I've had up here with the apple trees and my own deer, I get my own coyotes. I don't have any flowers in the front. Some people would say, you know, Dawson, you really should put beautiful flowers out in front of your house instead of everything being dead. And that's true, except for unlike most people that love beautiful flowers, I actually like watching the deer eat all my shit. <laughs> and I have families of deer that come up here 
generations of deer that will down there let me pet them. And I like seeing them. So to each his own. But if you want to sprinkle the anti-deer food, I used to load this up with hanging baskets and it was amazing. And it would last six weeks until the deer finally got to it. I got peach trees, I got blackberries, I've got everything you could want out in the middle of nowhere, right here on top of the world. So to me, that's promote. So promote, you gotta know how to make a profit. You gotta have the process when I promote, here's how I convert it to a process by having the right kind of conversations with people. And then the fourth P in a MIM model is people. You need people. Why do I love EXP so much? Because see, EXP isn't about you doing all the work. EXP is about finding average ordinary people who don't know how to make an income and teaching them the life skill sets to make secondary, third, primary money. See, you gotta convert your thinking from the doing to your real purpose in life. And the thing that EXP gives you is a MIM model to do that. You have to multiply. The M's are multiplying your people is how you create wealth. No one will create wealth. The stats prove that no one's gonna create wealth in business if you don't have a system that allows you to multiply people. So the P's, promote, gotta make money, profit. Gotta write down the process of when we promote, here's how we make money. So, because true leadership is making other people's success easy. To the extent you focus on that, you're gonna be wealthy. I don't care what you do. If you're focused on yourself, you're gonna struggle your whole life. That's proven by 31 and a half small to mid-sized million, million businesses, 31 and a half million small to mid-sized. It's proven statistically. If you don't make other people's success easy, you're gonna be trapped as 25 million of those businesses working by yourself. It's a sad place to be, and no one creates wealth working alone. And then you multiply your people, four piece. Promote, profit, process, people. Now, to get wealthy, you need a MEM model to get wealthy. Because the M's are what create wealth. And if you're trapped working in a realty business where it's a one-to-one -one ratio, it's you showing up, you getting listings, you trying to close deals, you can make a living. But at some point you will burn yourself out and you will not create real wealth. In a MIM model, the wealth creation mechanism is people. So all you need to do once you know how to promote, like Michael was teaching you, once you know how to get clients that want to work with you because you understand how to speak the language, you understand the quality of your questions will always determine the quality of your results. For those of you showing up with your packet as your first presentation, you've lost in the real world. You need to show up with your best question. And then you need to come back with your packet. That specifically addresses the best questions. The quality of your questions will always determine the quality of your results. So once you get through the P's, the way you create massive wealth is you model the first M. You model what you've been able to prove works. Now the beautiful thing in an M model, uh, M E M model, is that it's already built. You don't need to be the person that has the best example. You just need to know who the top people are in the system and you need to learn how to promote their success. That takes the pressure off. So many of you are trapped in a system where you cannot monetize because you don't have the bragging rights. In a MEM system like EXP, you don't need the bragging rights. Somebody else has already done it and they publish it. You just need to learn to do the first P, which is promote their success. Hey, the person I'm following started 12 years ago. They weren't making any money either. They left an agency where they were, all they could do is trade time for money and they started in this other business and here's what they've done five years ago and then all of a sudden they're making $100,000 and then $500,000 a month passive income. Who here would like to earn $500,000 a month passive income? Quality of your questions will always determine the quality of your answers. So I'm going to hold a meeting every single week, every Tuesday night from seven and eight and I'm gonna leave with one for both. Who wants to learn to make two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month passively? If you're interested, come see me. The what you do is no longer relevant, by the way. Once it works, people don't 
give a shit. People want to succeed with something that works and true leadership is making their success easy. Therefore, if you're in a MIM system that you can point to what success looks like, you will grab the mind share of the people that you're talking to. But you, every business owner wants to lead with the what they do. I'm a realtor. I sell home. Nobody cares. You're asking the wrong question. You feel good about that, but who cares? Ask the question, hey, is anybody ever, second best question you can ever ask anybody, has anyone ever shown you how to make $250,000 a month? Has anybody ever sat down and walked you through the process of exactly how to make $250,000 a month? Raise your hand if anybody's ever been willing to do that. If I was willing to do that, would you be at least curious enough to know if you could do what others are doing to make that kind of money? See, I still haven't pitched what I do. I'm just asking the question. Because then when they show up, I'm going to pop up this remarkable income calculator and I'm going to say, here's an example of 10 people in the EXP system. Here's how much money they're making actively and passively by building teams of this size. This is my target. And here's exactly what they do to do it because they reverse engineered it and I'm displaying it and presenting it to you. And good news is I'm learning what they're doing so you can learn from me. It's called follow the leader. How many people here would want to follow a leader who's on a quest to make a quarter of a million to half a million dollars a month? If I'm willing to teach you everything I'm learning because I'm six months or nine months ahead of you, would you be willing to take time and at least be interested enough to follow me? If so, I think we have something to talk about. So the first M is model. Model the behavior. Model what works. The second M is so easy to succeed. It's mimic. Mimic the communication. I would just teach people, listen, just like you heard this meeting, your first night ever, I want you to mimic exactly what I'm teaching you to do. I don't want you to go tell everybody that you're in the real estate game, you're in the insurance game, or you're in the selling candles game, or you're in the grinding your ass off building a shitty business game. All by yourself, as 25 million Americans are. I don't want you to tell people that. What I want you to tell people is you're in the game of learning how to make significant money by proven people who are teaching you exactly how to do it. And what I would do is invite people with a question. Do you want to be in a system that's proven to teach you how to make money doing something that's moral, ethical, and legal, and quite honestly, quite fun? The only challenge you're gonna have is can you come out of your comfort zone? If the answer is yes, then you're gonna make so much money in this game because I've met so many people that are doing it. That's what attracts you. This is how I would be presenting the opportunity because if people just model and mimic what you're doing, they will succeed and draft behind you. The fastest way to success is drafting, not leading. 25 million business owners out there trying to lead the way to success, only for two thirds of them to fail every five years cyclical. There's no point in doing it by yourself. MIM models allow you to find those examples within the marketplace that you're in and allows you to replicate and duplicate, which is mimicking the success. If you're trapped in a system right now where nobody's sitting down with you every single week saying, let me show you how to get to 50 grand a month. Let me show you how to get to 100 grand a month. Let's set targets, 20 grand a month, 50 grand a month, 100 grand a month, 500 grand a month, a million a month. Why are those those targets? Because here are the names of the people and here's how long it took them to do that. And I'm chasing them. And as soon as you start getting traction and credibility, now you have something to talk about because, hey, I made $2,200 my first month. I made $6,200 my second month. I made $8,200 my third month. I'm on my way to my first $10,000 a month ever. You should just get behind me and do exactly what I'm doing. You will find people that say, I want to succeed. But if you're not inviting them with the question, if you're not making their success easy, you will be challenged in building anything because statistically everything is hard to build. The third M is mastery. Once you start hitting 50 grand a month, 60 grand a month, 100 grand a month, you've mastered the process to go from zero to 100. And trust me, when you start gaining that momentum and people are like, whoa, these other people, that's great, but what about you? Yeah, well, let me show you what happened. 18 months ago, I started exactly where you're sitting and here's where I'm at today. Here is every single month, 
how many calls I made, how many people I met, how many meetings I ran, how many of them signed up with me, how many of them moved forward with me and got their licenses, how many of them actually started going out promoting within the market. I'll show you exactly how I taught them how to promote. And all of a sudden, fast forward, I've got 100 people underneath me. I'm making this much of active income. I'm making this much of passive. Because in a MIM model, you don't just get paid for the work you do. In a MIM model, you get paid for the work everybody you're teaching does. By definition, that's a real business. The reason business owners start businesses is to make money off of teaching people to do the thing that the business's purpose is. Although most business owners don't know how to do that. So they fail. When you're an assistant that knows exactly how to do that, and not only one time, but over and over and over, it's the fastest way to success because you no longer can have the thought, I wonder if it really works. And once you start creating the momentum, in the mastery side of the equation, you start quicker gathering people. Now, facts and numbers never lie. So let's ask a few numbers. 10 years ago, how many agents did EXP have? 10 years ago, uh, there was probably less than 100. Five years ago? Uh, probably a couple thousand. Two years ago? 40,000. Today? We just cracked 60. No, two, okay. two, two, two years ago, they had 18,000. 18. Yeah. And we just cracked 60. Yeah, we've added 40. I want you to think about the, the multiplication mm -hmm. through the mastery. We'll add more agents in the next 12 months than we added in the last 12 years. There you go. And so the fourth M, by the way, anybody know what the fourth M is? Multiply. 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 So model, mimic, master, multiply. What's happening on a macro level is EXP is multiplying exponentially. Now, why is this important? It's important because it is a fact that if you work in this M system and you understand how to model mimic and master what other people are teaching you and people find that success because true leadership is making other people success easy, you will multiply. Now, when you take those stats and you compare them to the 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses that fail cyclically every five years, it means in the same window that you guys went in five years from a few thousand to 80, 60,000, in that same window, five years call, we've had 22 million businesses go out of business and restart. Hmm. So those are all failing systems. So once you pick, because break point one, the zero to billion run for a business, break point one is $100,000 to three million is break point one. And, and of the 25, of, of the 31 and a half million small to mid-sized businesses, they don't even get to the lower range of break point one. They don't even make 100 grand a year. The average, business owner in the United States makes $62,000 or $64,000 a year. Why would you want to go slave by yourself, risking all of your family's assets, everything, trying to create a system that is proven that you don't know what you're doing and it doesn't work? Versus, and this is what happens when people go straight into a, a, a traditional career. You know how many doctors start their doctor practices only to shut them down at the end of 35 years? Because there is zero residual benefit. It is a one-to-one -one ratio. So I would just encourage each and every one of you, if you're not part of EXP and you're part of some other system and you want to be a realtor, like this is the thing. If you want to be in the career, you need a MIM system, a multi-economic monetization strategy. If you have a MIM system where you get paid for your production, you get paid for recruiting people and teaching them the skills to become successful. Trust me, people development is where real net worth comes from. If you learn the skills how to find, attract, align, develop, and retain great people, those five steps to a remarkable experience, you learn those five things, as long as the what you do works and it has a MIM component, you will become unbelievably well. If I'm ever going to seek advice from anybody, I have three qualifying questions. This is true for consultants, it's true for advisors, it's true for mentors. Those three questions are, first question number one, what's the most amount of money you've ever made in a year?
Second question is, what's the single largest thing you've ever built organizationally? And the third question is, what's the biggest exit you've ever had from something you built? The reason those questions are important is because there's so much free advice in the marketplace of all those 31 and a half small to mid-sized million dollar businesses that are gonna fail because they don't know the answers to any of those questions. So who you'd spend your time talking to if you want the fastest way to success is somebody who can answer those three questions and they're in alignment with somewhere you, somewhere you want to go in your head. There's such a remarkable opportunity to be the example to other human beings and help them win and achieve greatness. But you've got to be part of the winning system. Because selling one-off transactional things will never be the thing that gets you to financial freedom. It just bogs you down. You know how many business owners I work with that are so frustrated they built three, four, five million dollar businesses and now they're absolutely stuck every single day. So I would encourage you a couple different things. Learn the four P's, learn the understand the four M's. You master those, you can build a $25 million business. As long as you're in a MIM system. See, an EXP, a $25 million business, would pay you on average 5 to 6%, if you're lucky, 8% passive income. So if you had $25 million in net worth paying you 6%, that's $1.5 million a year of, of passive income. If I could show you a business system right now and show you people that have accomplished that in between five and eight years, a million and a half dollars of passive income, which converts to a $25 million net worth, how many of you would want to accomplish that? And how many of you, as long as moral, ethical, legal, and it's something that you're already doing, would want to do it fast? So then you have to now apply the three questions I taught you. What's the first question? What's the most amount of money you made? What's the most amount of money anybody you're working with has ever made? What's the biggest thing that they've ever built? What's the biggest thing they ever cashed out on? If whoever you're working with, spending your time with, or talking to can't answer those three questions, they don't align with you. And if you don't have targets like that, then shame on you. That all falls on you. For the record, Brandon legitimately does ask these questions to people, and he has no shame in doing so. That's how I hired her husband. He called me into a coffee meeting to try to sell me on him being responsible for promoting my personal brand. So I let him go through his little coffee thing. I said, hey, Buck, I got a question. What's the most amount of money you've ever made? He tells me. I said, what's the biggest thing you ever built? He tells me. I said, what's the most you ever made selling that thing? He told me. I said, has anybody offered to teach you how to do this? And he goes, never. I said, okay, well, how about this? If I'm willing to teach you how to do this, would you abandon and leave all that? How long did it take him to make the yes decision? A week. He unwound everything he was doing and came over. Now, he walked away from what was close to a million dollar a year opportunity. Because what I painted was something much bigger. And I have the credibility to show him exactly how I've done it with other people. When you can support your own credibility, you can promote somebody else's credibility. That's the beautiful thing with a MIM system. But when you start building your own credibility inside of that system, things multiply. And I would just encourage you, if you're trapped in a system and you can't multiply it and, and have a multi-economic monetization strategy, you're, you're, you will not create a significant network. You're trading time for money. So fastest way to success, a recruit is not a recruit until a recruit's recruited a recruit. <laughs> because you never know who's gonna bring you somebody that's gonna be a multi-million dollar provider. Therefore, the wider your funnel, the bigger opportunity you have to have massive success. The only way you create a massively wide funnel is what Michael was talking about. You've got to learn to promote. But don't promote what you do. Promote the success of the thing you do, the benefit of what you do. You know, Brandon, a lot of people in our organization get trapped on that point. They, they feel like they have to build up their own personal business first before they can go out and attract people to EXP. <coughs> I mean, you just elaborated on that extensively, but is that probably not one of the worst things somebody could do or come into that to this type of an opportunity with that kind of a mindset. Like I have to be personally a good sales agent in, in real estate before anyone would ever join EXP. 
No, well, here's the thing. The EXP doesn't have a monetization structure that just rewards great sales agents. Because if I went and recruited a thousand people who were good sales agents, how much money would I make? I don't even have to actually do the business. I just have to be a great promoter of the business. I have to be a great promoter of the opportunity. I got to be a conduit that, should, that get, finds other people. It's actually the hardest thing. People say that because they are afraid of looking dumb or failing or not having credibility. So remember this and write it down. Fear is always a bigger motivator than opportunity. Why do people fail? Because they're afraid of failure. What you think is what you say, what you say is what you do, what you do is ultimately what you're You cannot have a count, you cannot have a corresponding thought to action that conflicts. So whatever you're spending your time thinking about is what you'll find more of. So you have to learn to set your intention statements. And, and if I was recruited into EXP, I would set my intention statements. It, I would ask the question, what is the fastest anybody's ever recruited a thousand agents in their local marketplace in the EXP? I would ask that question. And then I'd say, okay, what's the fastest anybody's ever recruited 2,500? What's the fastest anybody's ever recruited 5,000? If I recruited a thousand, what would my passive income would be if they were all doing the average of what all the realtors in EXP do? So see how I'm asking these questions? And then I'd say, okay, how did they recruit those people? Oh, well, here's what they were doing. Okay, I go on a fact find. Within 30 days, I would reverse engineer the top three best examples of exactly what people did, and I would ask what population were they in? What, what was the surrounding population? What kind of things did they do to grab mind share and attention? I would want to understand the mental image in my mind to replicate what they did as fast as possible. I would not be con conserved at all if I looked dumb or sound stupid or if I haven't learn to do a post, I wouldn't care about any of that. I would more care about how to go from zero to whatever that success point is, and who is the example, how did they do it, what did they do, where did they do it at, and I would model and mimic what they did. You did ask those questions. Yeah, I know, that's, that's what you, you, so as soon as Elena became part of EXP, I went and called all the top people and ask these exact questions, probably 25 questions. Because what I created was a blended strategy for Atlanta to go out and beat all those numbers. Mm -hmm. And so how many people we have in our downline now? A buck just sent me 200. 200 in, in 90, 120 days. And it's gonna multiply. We're just starting to understand this, figure it out and get momentum going. Yeah, she broke the four minute mile because before her three a month was good she started bringing in five a week and then she and everyone goes well she's famous she can do that well she brought in somebody named claudia ann who isn't famous a single mother uh has a baby and a new baby on the way and uh was and with she, her prior brokerage and for 20 years 25 20 years she was top five about five thousand agents in miami she came over and she brought in one a day just following Elena's example. You know, so, so this is the point. A lot of you, uh, a lot of people uh, are so afraid of looking, of failing. Remember, fear is a bigger motivator than opportunity. They fixate on the reasons other people succeed versus finding the reasons they're gonna succeed. Hmm. And then they use that unconsciously as an excuse. They start finding, well, you know, Brandon's got money. Well, guess what? I didn't have any money when I drove my ass all over the country begging people to sell me half their business with no money, and, and I would improve the other half of the value of their business. I was a kid, and I got told no hundreds and hundreds of times, but I never quit. What I needed to promote to business owners was that you would find freedom through a business that currently has no value because I'll come run it, I'll build it, and you can go play golf. Until I found somebody that said, yeah, and then I parlayed that into a public company. But I got told 122 times no when I was trying to raise my first million dollars and horrible things were said to me. But I just knew at some point somebody was gonna say yes. If I kept going, if you give up, you fail. So fixating on the no's, fixating on the things that could go wrong is what steers you into what's wrong. Because the higher you believe, the higher you achieve. The more effective you are pursuing in every granular thing you do towards the stated objective and goal, the faster you start to hit goals and stated objectives, 
the stronger me leadership's required. But once I bust through, then the we leadership gets transferred through the four P's and the four M's to everybody who trusts me and follows me. So instead of talking about being in the real estate market, start talking about in the creating the net worth market. And just ask the right questions. Hey, has anybody ever shown me how to make passive income while you're making active income? Nope. If there was a system that would allow you to do it while you pursued your personal professional financial choices, would you at least want to know what was available to you? Oh, isn't that a pyramid thing? No, it's a you know, multi-economic model. It's not a corporate structure because there's no job. See, pyramids are corporate structures. You get a CEO at the top, you get the vice president, you get the directors, you get the senior directors, you get the all the way down to the average worker working in the warehouse at Amazon. Well, Bezos is making billions. That's a pyramid. Most businesses don't have a MIM model because you don't get to recruit people and show them how to make money and make money off of the money they make teaching them how to make money. That, that doesn't happen in traditional business. That's why people leave their jobs and hate them. That's why two thirds of the workforce hates their job. They're disengaged or actively disengaged according to Gallup. The only time that went to 50% that I loved my job was last year during COVID because the people that actually appreciated getting a paycheck were happy they were getting a paycheck. But outside of that, it's always been two thirds disengaged, actively disengaged. So one third of the workforce loves their job. And if you were one of those one third, you wouldn't be thinking about a career change. So let's get real here. Let's work in a system that allows people to achieve and create a real network. And if nobody's shown you how to do that, I'm willing to do that. It's your choice to show up. You know, Brad, I've seen thousands of exp presentations i've given thousands and that's probably the best exp explanation i've ever seen i told glenn i'm happy to come to the conference and, <laughs> you know it what took me 30 minutes to explain it to yeah, yeah. <laughs> because here's the thing you know i've studied tens of thousands of businesses i mean i spent 3.8 million in research looking at 3900 different industries so when you do that and you do it through the lens <laughs> when you do it, you do it through the lens of what works and what doesn't work, and you understand the statistics, then you understand how many, how much time, energy, and effort people spend wasting their time, only to be disappointed over and over and over, and carrying a huge burden of risk. The thing I love about MIM systems is it doesn't take a lot of capital to start them, and it creates leverage within the business. So I, my last three businesses I've started, I did not need capital. I'm a growth and scaling expert. Why? Because I'm smart enough to find M's, M's. If you know how to find a M and you lean into a M and you know how to create a M, it, 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 game over. Because the people that are not in a M, they're, they're trading time for money. Trapped. They're trapped. And they will eventually hate whatever they do, even if they're making money. But what does Glenn say? If you are, if an independent, if you're the only person in your business, you don't have a business. Yeah, and, and, and you wear yourself or burn yourself out and you have no leverage in the business, you will never create passive income doing that because you're small. Nothing small ever created massive value. So every single statistic of every single situation, if you want to create net worth, means you have to multiply through people. I've never found, I mean, Bezos, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, all of them multiplied through people. And they all went hard on the what? The one thing. The one thing. For those of you in the realty space, you might think your what is buying and selling shit. And that's really super sad. Make your what about developing other people to find financial freedom and teach them how to pursue their goals, and you won't care about them. Oh. You just need a system that allows people to do that. Does that make sense? That's it. Any questions? This wasn't an EXP presentation. I was just simply using it as an example of what a MIM looks like. If you want to go create your own MIM, you can do that. A lot of people have tried. But I always point people when they're thinking about it. It just happens you guys are in the real estate space. But uh, I got a lot of friends that have been selling real estate for a long time. And they, they create a nice living and they go and buy passive income assets. And they do it the slow, methodical, 25, 30 year 
I know some of the best known agents in the world, but I don't know very many of them that are wealthy. They made a great living, but they're not wealthy. You understand the difference? Yep. You need a system that allows you to create wealth. Okay. 